Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. You all know our next guest as the first female MC to get a contract with Master P on his successful No Limits record label. She's straight out of the seventh ward in yes. New Orleans and still continues to perform on stage and in the kitchen yes. as a chef and cookbook author. Please welcome Mia X. Yes! 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 Y'all look so pretty. So Thank y'all. <laughs> well, yes, you just look amazing. Yes. My God. Well, you're looking just festive. Yes. I'm getting yes. ready. Well, I'm how, counting down to my birthday. When's your birthday? January 9th. Oh, mine's first, yeah. December 3rd. Okay. But how are you getting ready for this holiday season? Well, I always get ready in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Okay, what do you do? What are your favorite things to do? I like to cook. Um, Make up recipes mm -hmm. and gossip with my family in the kitchen. That's what yeah, we do. That's always a good. That's what <laughs> we gossip. I like to gossip down to the kitchen, especially my parents. That my mom and them, they real, real petty. So it's real fun. What? Yeah, yeah, they like to gossip real good. So you've been in the business, Mia, for thirty years. Yes. What does that mean for you? What is it like to still be performing and doing your thing for thirty after thirty years of being in the business? You know, it's overwhelming. It's mm -hmm. um. It's like really great. Um, I'm thankful. Mm -hmm. uh, my fans mean everything to me because they have rolled with me. I didn't get a lot of radio play. Mm -hmm. I didn't get a lot of videos. Mm -hmm. cause I was a big girl too, mm -hmm. you know. Exactly. I'm trying to tell and the they people. rolled with me. So um, to see them still come out and support me, mm -hmm. and to see them bring their children now mm -hmm. because we we 50 and and older, right. and so to see the 21, 22. With the kids, right. man, is unbelievable. That's amazing. Ooh, so yeah. thankful. Mm -hmm. Well, there was a lot of controversy around your show in St. Louis. So, uh, tell us your thoughts when you heard that. Well, um, when I was in St. Louis, we were coming on and off the stage. Mm -hmm. I heard the people booing, but I wasn't on stage. P was on stage telling them that he did bout it, bout it. They was telling him he didn't. Mm. He tried to walk off the stage and they started booing him. But it's a skit that he does. Mm -hmm. um, then in the show, we had like some music stopping, music starting. It was some really crazy stuff that first mm. day. But St. Louis was awesome. St. Louis and was always awesome. And it was turned awesome. for me. It was <laughs> yeah, oh, look, let me tell y'all something. St. Louis has a, a, a really, really solid No Limit fan base. Mm -hmm. and, and they was there. But we had some technical difficulties for that show. Mm -hmm. But it still was there. How has the lit. tour been just in general? I mean, how has it been for you? Has it been smooth most of the time or? Weird. <laughs> <laughs> Smoothie weird. Smoothie yes. weird. Yes. I take it. Smoothie weird. Yeah, smeared. Smeared. Yeah. <laughs> you know, a lot of us, we, we haven't been around each other in like 20 years. Mm -hmm. So, um, and we live on different coasts. So, coming together um, and performing. And when we haven't done it in a while. And then setting our ways because we're getting older. We're child. all set it. Yeah, and I'm really setting my, I'm <laughs> grandma. I'm, listen. <laughs> The people have got to understand. Okay, well, I'll tell you where you are setting your ways and you're doing your thing, and that's down to the kitchen. Mm -hmm. yes. Talk to us about what chicken therapy is, though, because I know that's got something to do with your grandmother. Yes. Talk to us about chicken therapy. So, um, almost 30 years ago, mm -hmm. my baby daddy cheated. Mm. Okay. I didn't know if I wanted to stay or if I wanted to go. Mm -hmm. She said, Baby, your heart don't care how stupid you look. Mm, it just yeah. knows what it feels. That's why your common sense got to kick in and have your hearts back. Mm. Oh, right so now. what the women in our family did, she said, go and get the two chickens out of the refrigerator. Mm. I want you to cut them up. And I was like, why? She said, you're going to cut that bird before you cut that bird. Mm. And so <laughs> you caught it. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, okay. um, I went into the kitchen. And I started cutting the chicken and talking through my emotions. Learned how to cut chicken really well. Mm -hmm. uh, seasoned it, fried some, baked some. But chicken therapy is what we do in our house. Mm. Um, now that I'm grown, I remember being young and we had frozen chicken just bags. Because I guess mm. the women would be going They'd through be stuff. They'd be going through stuff. Girl, cut that bird before you cut so that bird. So every time you go through something, you go get a bird out of the kitchen and, 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 and instead of killing him, 
you go to the kid, the chicken. Cut yeah. that bird, season uh -huh. that bird, and feed your season. family. <laughs> Do some positive. Yes. Okay. Well, tell us about your your cooking squad team. Whip them pots. Mm. Yes. Yes, D E M. Not whip them pots. Whip them pots. Because my grandmother whip said. Whip them pots. Dem, day. She didn't right. use the T H. Mm -hmm. So, Team Whip Them Pots is a cooking squad I started 11 years ago. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just to inspire people to cook. Um, cooking is cheaper, it's healthier. Mm -hmm. um, it, it strengthens the family bonds. You can put your children in the kitchen, yeah. find out what they're doing at school, who they like, who they don't like, mm. while they're cooking. And so that was the purpose of Team Whipped and Pots. I'm inspired oh, to cook. I really am. Thank you so much, Mia X, for coming by. And be sure to fit, to follow Mia X on Instagram at the Mama Mia X. And if you're staying with us for the full hour, we're getting Chef Mia into the kitchen. Woo. And she will be cooking something up delicious for us next. And the conversation, of course, Always continue to also circle TV and all social media platforms because they do every day. <laughs> oh, welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We're back with hip hop artist and chef Mia X, and she's joining us in the kitchen to show off her amazing cooking skills. Now, I know you've been cooking for years. I'm talking about for years. You've yes. been turning up down to <laughs> the kitchen. But let's talk about how in 2017 you were selected as the highlighted chef at the Essence Eats. That's, that's lit, Mia. How yeah. was that for you? It was overwhelming. Um, I was the highlighted chef and also the best-selling author. It, My cookbook come on. rolled that essence, so yes, yes. I was fucked up. <laughs> Talk about this book. What is in this book? A lot of life lessons. Okay. You know, I was a teen mom. Mm -hmm. I survived domestic violence. Mm -hmm. um, recording artist, mm -hmm. record label robbery, mm -hmm. and food. And my food. grandmother said the most profound things. And so people would say, you should talk about mama and talk about wow. the food. And so I did the book. So food has been your therapy. This cooking has really just kind of got you through this, this entire industry, basically. Because yes. I know the industry is off the chain, child. Off the chain. But I'm going to tell you what is off the chain. This plate. And I want to get to the bottom of it. So what do we put in it to make some more? So this is homemade jambalaya. Oh my God, look at all You will not need the box anymore. Okay. So what we have here is mm -hmm. three color bell peppers. Okay. Onion, garlic, mm. celery. Mm -hmm. And I melted two tablespoons of butter. Okay. So we just gonna pour all this in here mm -hmm. and get it around. Oh, it smells so good. My God, today. One thing about it, fresh seasoning, mm -hmm is everything. Now, I know you have your own seasoning right here. Yes, well, this is my one-stop shop, honey. Now, why is it a one-stop shop? Because usually when I'm making uh, jambalaya, mm -hmm. what I'm making today, mm -hmm. I, I add jambalaya. Turn up. all the powders. All the Onion, powders. garlic, celery, mm -hmm. paprika, thyme, mm -hmm. oregano, mm. filet. So one day, I was playing with my grinder, and I decided mm -hmm. to go ahead and start um, what kind of sausage is it? Oh. So this sausage is my favorite. Mm -hmm. This is chicken and dewy and Ooh. beef sausage. Oh, that looks very, very tasty. So, you throw this in. You know we gotta go live for TV. Oh my God, okay. So let's go live. Okay, let's do our thing. So once you put your sausage in, this would go together for about two minutes. So you put the meat with this first seasoning. Is that on purpose? Because like you want to get the seasoning into the to. meat. You have to. Yes. You want the flavor of the seasoning mm -hmm. to pretty much lotion your meat. To lotion the meat. Because mm -hmm. the meat is ashy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, what else do we So put then in I need you to grab those shrimp for me. Shrimp, okay, I got the shrimp. Pour it in. Okay. So this, okay, it's got a little piece of water. That doesn't matter. Shrimp water is okay. good. That's flavor. Shrimp water. So what you're going to do, stir that for me okay, while I, I fix you. my apron. Mm -hmm. So. With the shrimp, mm -hmm. that would go like another three minutes. Uh huh. Once it's going, you're gonna uh, start with my seasoning. Okay. So, this is about an ounce and a half of seasoning. Ounce and a half. That's a lot. But turn it the up. The reason why? First, you're going half. Mm hmm And oh, you're gonna the stir. Smells amazing. Oh my God. You're gonna stir. How do you get your seasoning to smell good? I mean, that don't make no well, sense. Well, seasoning is the key to food, especially in New Orleans. We have a trinity. Mm. So, uh, What's the in trinity? the black family, <laughs> it's onion, garlic, bell pepper, and celery. <laughs> you have to cook with it. The whole experience. You absolutely have yes, to God. cook with it. So, 
At this point, we put mm -hmm. a little cell, a little parsley in. Mm -hmm. Like to use fresh parsley. Parsley just looks so pretty. And on the now, too. grab that rice, Selena. Rice. Okay. And how much is this? Like two cups? This is two cups of rice. You see how I'm oh, girl, I look. Know, look, you can cook. That. You can cook when you can tell from the bowl. Because you, you, you can see it in the cup. On. Let's go. Well, see, I do a lot of measuring because, you know, every, my whole life is well, a big I measuring. I don't. Cup. And that's been the hardest thing for me. Um, this is pawbarrow rice. Mm -hmm. I love to cook with pawbarrow rice because it doesn't get mushy. And oh, it wow. takes the flavor really, really good. Is like, that like jasmine right up? Is it close mm, to jasmine? No, it's not. Well, I've never heard of Paul Bear rice. Well, Paul Burrow, well, Paul boiled is Paul, probably what Paul you would boiled, say. Paul boiled, okay. But me, being from New Orleans, mm -hmm. we say burl, furl. <laughs> When you love your babies, they spurl. They spurl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now look, I okay. have like a third cup of water okay. that I'm putting in here to make a little gravy. Okay, we're gonna bring the sisters in. Yes, oh, we are. Um, we we dropping we we drop in they snuck in, mm -hmm. and, and didn't the rest even say of the, they was coming and just got placed. The rest of the seasoning goes. Oh, in. and then we do the rest of the seasoning. With the rice, yes. So I love jambalaya because it's just like you throw everything in. Everything, everything just turn together. Up. Do we everything. take off the beauty plate, Miss Mia X? Man, you really can. I have, I have some more set aside, but you can take it right over here. I I'm gonna go ahead and so do that. this is like your one stop now with mm -hmm. the seasoning because you don't have to put all of the sure. different things that you usually put when you um yeah. doing it from so scratch. So besides your grandmother, who is the biggest cooking inspiration in your family? My mother and my grandmother, they were my biggest inspirations. Um to me, they cook better than everybody. Well, everybody. Well, you Let are a see. big inspiration to us, Mia. Ooh. We thank you so much for coming back today. I'm gonna eat mine after this break. Be sure to follow <laughs> Mia X on the Instagram at the Mia X at Mia X.